What's up everyone, it's Alisa here. The disc golf season is already well underway. If you're still thinking, what should I throw this year? Well, you're in luck because I have some uh, recommendations. If you're like me in between that intermediate to a ah, relatively good player, these discs are what I recommend you try out or even put in your bag. They don't need to be those specific discs, but you will notice that there is a theme what sort of discs I recommend. And I want to emphasize I'm in no way an expert thrower, but I'm between that intermediate and amateur. But we will start with, we will talk about putters because those are completely different subject. And we would we, will, we, we are not gonna talk about like specific special discs. We're gonna talk about workhorses that you will use again and again when the conditions are tough, when the weather is shit. These are the discs you rely on and you need those discs. We're gonna start with the throwing putter, which is the Envy. It doesn't really matter what plastic Envy you have, but Envy's in general are my go-to throwing putters at the moment because I can rely them to do the exact same thing every time. I can even put it a bit of a flex and it will just finish left because of the overstability of the throw, uh, of the Envy. And this is just a good all-around disc. I wouldn't throw sidearms with this, but I, I would throw Anheuser shots. I would like big, long flex shots with it. This is a really good disc to put in your bag, and I highly recommend having an overstable throwing, a throwing butter. Why not an enemy? The next one is a bit of a weird one, but you need an overstable mid-range. And my favorite is the Malta. This actually has two hole-in-ones, this specific Malta. This has been in my bag ever since the beginning, ever since we started during COVID. This has been with me. As you can see, it's pretty be beaten up and I still love this. I have a newer one, but I still go for this one because this is really overstable at the moment. And I can just trust, if the, if the winds are just ripping your hair off and blowing like crazy, Malta will give you distance like no other. And well, this is just my preference. You can take it. You can technically take whatever overstable disc, but I just love love the uh, feel of the rim. This just fits in my hand perfectly, and I just love this. Have an overstable mid, mid range. Next one is a fairway driver, and I uh, this was a toss up. I have a quite a few, but this is a workhorse I go towards every single time, and this is the. C-Line FT from Discmania. I don't know, I, originally I didn't really like it, but now that I know how to work with it, I can do so much more with it. I can throw forehands, I can, sh I can throw flex lines, even pure hyzer lines, and this is just suitable for every, like wooded courses, open courses. I, I, I just, I, I started to love this disc. In the beginning, it was, it was my wife's originally, but I just stole it. And this is this is a definite like yeah this isn't that overstable anymore. But when I got when you when you buy the C line FD new they are pretty overstable, and this is more like a stable slash straight shooting uh, fairway at the moment. But this is a workhorse. You can just do whatever you want with it. So yeah, overstable as the previous ones. Overstable fairway drivers. And last but not least. This is actually the newest, newest disc uh, in my bag, and it's an overstable. Well, this is a stable. I think this is more towards like stable to overstable uh, distance driver, and this is the Discraft Zeus. I used to throw uh, MVP Photon, and I still have the Photon, which is a tad more over, more stable than this one, but. I don't know, this just feels in my hand better, and that's where it all comes down, is the feel of the disc, the uh, confidence you have throwing the disc. And I've been loving throwing the Zeus, and I recommend getting something really stable again, because when you're trying to get to that amateur to even above that and starting competing, you need a disc you can rely on doing the same thing every time, whether it's raining or whether it's sunny. And that's the reason why I packed the Zeus and that's the reason why I love this disc. The moral of the story is when you're trying to become better, when you're trying to make your game better, you need more stability on your discs. 
to uh, have those real, reliable workhorses and that's why I recommend buying stable to overstable discs all the time if you want to make your game better. It sure helped me, so it probably will, will help, help you. Probably, I don't know. Leave a comment down below, am I right? Or am I talking out of my ass? Like, in my opinion, if you want to become better, throw stable stuff. Comment down below if I'm wrong. Subscribe, hit the bell notification button so you get notified when I upload new videos. Ah, oh, well, also like the video, why not? And don't shut the video yet. If there's players in Ireland, in the south of Ireland, hey, I'm here. I'm looking for people to get better with and to train and to practice. So if you're in Ireland, in the, in the southern parts of Ireland, shout out. Let's meet up and let's practice together. Thanks for watching. Go buy these discs, go throw them, and you will immediately see your game will, is going to get better.